first saw this thing on the internet, they were discussing kayak carts, and I saw this, and I said, hmm, that's well engineered, but I'm thinking, gee, I can do that same thing in my wood shop, so I'm going to go build one of these things out of wood. I can do every bit of that. Watch this. Alright, not very dirty. Wood shop, it don't matter much. A couple of near 2x4s. Thought I'd be strong enough. I'm going to make it so that I dado them, put them like that, but dado them halfway through so they fit together flush at just the right angle so it'll be real similar to that other contraption I'll tell you the, the part I like best is how these the pads pivot and if you can make them sticky or not sticky but tacky then they'll then they'll adhere to the bottom of the kayak and it will I can make it so that I can make two pieces. That'll be a piece that'll come apart and go together in the middle. So basically you're making two pieces. Alright, first thing I want to do is find the center of these two boards and drill the hole. That's where I'll marry them up. And I just got to put it together like that, find the angle, appropriate angle. Draw a couple of lines and then dado out the center so they fit together. First, I need to figure out which wheels I'm going to use. And I think, I think I'm going to tear apart one of my other carts. Let me go find it. There you go. There's a perfect set of wheels. Those are off a golf cart. Got an axle and everything. All I got to do is put a couple of washers in there to back it up. And my board will go right to here. I'll groove it so that it sits down on top of that. Alright, found me a scrap bolt. Go along with my scrap lumber, my recycled wheels. Now let's get to engineering this thing. Five sixteenths, that's what that bolt is, so it'll be a nice snug fit. got to do is determine how wide I need it and how much to allow for the wheels. Alright, I got my lines drawn. Now I'm going to dado those two together so they fit smooth. Alright, the angle I picked just happens to be almost 45 degrees. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and set it at 45 degrees just to keep things simple. Transferred my marks to the top so I can see. Double check, to make sure, yeah, it's cutting in the right direction. Got my blade set at three quarter inches, which is half the distance of this board. Now I'm going to start cutting a bunch of times just like this to make a dado. Just go like that and knock them out. 
pop them right out of there. And I can smooth that out a little more in a minute. Alright, let's reset my saw for the other side. clean out my dados, fit it together, drill that through, bolt it together, and then get my other distances set. that joint up a little more to make them fit a little better but that's good I got to figure out how to get these ends squared off square to this square to each other and 12 and a half inches wide so I figured well I'll just take a piece of wood like this and cut it 12 and a half inches wide that'll give me the distance on my axles That is the distance between here and here inside that hub. It's about 12 and a half, and I've got some variance in this that I can play with, kick it out or in or out a half inch or so, and so I got plenty of play. Let me get that done. Okay. There's the bottom part. We'll drop right in here like this. I'm going to cut grooves in the bottom of these to accept the axle. Just some small grooves right here on either end. Do that with a table saw. Okay. It's just about perfect. Got good clearance. Axle fits right in the center of it. Put a couple of straps so that that has got something to catch and hold it in. Making good progress. I got my marks. That goes right to the outside of the wheel. Same thing on this side, outside of the wheel. I'll bet that would stay in place with just a bungee cord. I'll figure out some nice, unique way to hold that in there. Okay, now let's. I'm going to fix this up a little bit, take my sander to it, and knock all these edges back. They're nice and rounded, no splinters anywhere. Okay, got a nice little piece of, that's a step, pre-made step. It's probably an inch thick, close to it. I'm going to make two perfect pads. I'll just bust it right down the center, make my two pads to it. Being an inch thick gives me plenty to plenty to stick it to, screw it to it. Uh, see if I can't get my... I've got a round over bit in this little router, hopefully. That would be great. Oh, look at that, I got a round over bit. All right, let's put a quick round over finish on these. All righty, a couple of landing pads. Now we'll just screw them in. Now let's go see it fits my boat and get it to stay on my boat and it's dark so I probably won't be able to film anything worth a darn look at that darn thing works like a charm pretty much let's see how it holds together when I start pulling it around 
Well, there it is. More mounted in the middle. That works pretty good, and that is right dead center because it teeter totters. <sighs> Gotta do a little engineering on the straps. But I think that's gonna work. Those hinges might not be strong enough. I may have to go with a stronger hinge, too. Those hinges aren't strong enough. I'll have to go with stronger hinges or a different kind of hinge system. Gotta think about it a little bit. Yeah, coming on and off the boat, it really did a number on them. Hmm. I wonder if it wouldn't be just as easy to fix those in place. Put them at the proper angle for my yak only. Hmm. That's what I ought to do. Make it custom fit it to my yak what I'm going to use it on. That even makes it simpler. I think that's what I'll do. Alright, I found the proper angle that I'll attach my top board to. That'll take all the wiggle out of it. That'll make it work better. In my particular instance, that's the thing about this. It's a custom kayak. Custom to my yak. There you go. That is ultra simple. Two, two buys, some one buy, a couple of old golf cart or uh, yeah, golf cart wheels, and I got me a very simple. I can take it down, break it apart, store it in the yak easily, and off I go. That's better. straight up attached to the yak. I could move it forward if I wanted to, but I do like it more toward the back. Gives me just enough leverage. The yak is not heavy. It can, you know, stack the gear in the back like I usually do. Turn both lights on. A little more light on the subject. There we go. So that's on the back half. I use my little seat holding poles, hold it in place, catch it around the back of it, got a bungee cord holding my axle on, that works good, that works real nice. Gets it up high enough, those are nice wide soft wheels, they're quiet, works good huh? like it. Easy to take on and off. I think the thing to do is to have it tilt forward like that. She was laying like that. That's one of the reasons I left that little pole sticking out. You can put a kickstand on it so you can make it so it sits like this. That little bolt, attach something to that bolt. Then just drop the bolt on top of it and it straightens out. Oh man.